as part of an amazing VIP package. You will be on stage with me at the weigh-ins. Watch the entire card for my personal seats. These are seats that you cannot buy. I'm gonna cover your flight, your hotel, everything. I promise you, you will have the best weekend of your life. And the best part is that every donation will support the Make-A-Wish Foundation to help grant wishes and create life-changing experiences for children with critical illnesses. All you have to do is enjoy the fights. So go to omaze.com slash UFC right now and enter before the deadline. And I will see you in Brooklyn. I'm undefeated, undisputed UFC lightweight champion. 28 and all. I dominate every single opponent. No one even close. I'm on different level and everybody knows this. But... Even if I beat Yaquinta, Kona, Poirier, for my legacy, I have to be Tony Ferguson. The way that you can gauge how big and how meaningful a fight really is is through the fans. The fans are going crazy for this fight. This is the fight that everybody wants to see. This fight is so big. Nurmagomedov, the fight that every MMA fan is dying to see. Who's the only one? That fight, it was booked in 2015, 2016, 2017. As yet, it hasn't happened. Who's your Superman? There's no one like him. Who's the one we want? Without a doubt, Tony Ferguson is the guy we want to see. I've been away. I'm glad it's happening now because there is more at stake in this matchup than there ever would have been. This is the most highly anticipated fight in the history of the UFC. It's a nice day to start again. to getting ready for this fight. So I'm gonna make that boy suffer. And win that belt, man. I've been aiming for that for a long time. We have very big history. Finally, we're gonna fight, and we're gonna smash him right away. The most important fight in the history of the lightweight division. It's a nice day to start again. Welcome to the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, Nevada, where in less than one hour, the UFC 248 ceremonial weigh-ins go down. But first, let's get you ready for UFC 249. Brooklyn, New York and Barclays Center play host to a lightweight championship matchup on Saturday, April 18th, only on pay-per-view for purchase through the ESPN Plus app. First to the stage, welcome El Kakui. Riding the longest win streak in the UFC with 12 straight victories. He hasn't lost in nearly eight years and has the third most finishes in UFC lightweight history. He's the former interim lightweight champion, Tony Ferguson. And his opponent, one of the best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world today, undefeated and unheard of 28-0, with his last two wins over UFC legends Dustin Poirier and Conor McGregor. He also rides a UFC best, 12 straight wins into this epic contest, and he has the second most takedowns in UFC lightweight history. Please welcome the UFC lightweight champion of the world, Habib Nurmagomedov.
What's up, everybody? Thanks for coming out today. We appreciate it. Who's got the first question? Tony, I wanted to start with you. Uh, you brought your belt today. I, I want to ask you, what is your mindset coming into this fight? I mean, this journey's been long for you. You were awarded a championship belt. You were stripped of it. I mean, is there a chip on your shoulder? Are you excited? Are you angry? Are you frustrated? S stripped? It's right here. It never fucking went anywhere. The hype is real. Excuse me? It's Tyrima fucking Sue time, motherfuckers! We're keeping it sweet. We're keeping it savvy and we'll keep it a little classy. The hype is real. You better fucking be there, Khabib. I'm glad you showed up. Just sit it down and walk away. And Tony, I wonder, I mean, obviously the record that Habib had is amazing, 28-0, I mean, it's incredible. When you watch his fights, what do you see? Do you see mistakes that others have made, or do you see skills that others lack? What, what's what's going to be the difference for you? I'm actually going to spar this time. I haven't sparred since T-Bow. Yeah, what? Yeah. You didn't know that either. I don't think anybody knew that. So we're going to be sparring. I'm looking for sparring partners. So snapjitsu at gmail.com. Send me your fucking resume. So, oh, wait, hold on. You like beating on high school wrestlers? That are preparing for state the week before? Hold on, hold on. And you like making homeless do push-ups in New York and making fun of them. I owe you two to the stomach and you owe me 20 push-ups. But I will do the push-ups with you when you lose. Tony, can I ask why you haven't sparred in that long? Has it been health reasons or has it been strategy? Why have you not sparred? Uh, I figured I'd graduate with a bunch of tools, so I had to go out in the field and use them. Now, cool. I'm, now I'm cool. game planning. Cool. Now I'm game planning. I don't have daddy with me. And I don't have anybody holding my hand. Habib, I want to ask you, I mean, you said that this fight is important for your legacy. What is it about Tony that makes it important to have this fight for, for your legacy? I think we have to fight. Fuck you know, your legacy. Like, uh, I think he's, uh, he deserves this, you know. He is real challenge. You know, I respect his skills, you know. But, you know, like, uh, like fighter, he's a very good fighter. But why people don't like him? Because he's a stupid guy, you know. That's why nobody understands him. I'm very know? educated, motherfucker. Like, honestly, like... He looked like stupid, you know. That's why nobody liked him. But like fighter, he's a very good fighter, you know. And I respect his skill. And that's why he's here, you know. Like biggest fight on the air. And uh, we'll see April 18. Habib, there's been some talk about how much longer you want to continue fighting. I mean, you've accomplished a lot in your career. This would be another big moment for you. What else do you want to accomplish before you feel like you've done enough and don't need to fight? What else do you want to do before you... You say that's it. You know, I like challenge. You know, if you watch like when I fight Conor, when I fight Dustin Poirier, when I fight like all all my fights, you know, like uh, this guy is one of the best in the world. And uh, and when I watch my legacy in lighter division, I think, hey, like I have to fight with Tony Ferguson. You know, if I want become greatest light whatever, I have to beat this guy. That's why I'm here. You know, and. Um, you sign up to fight a hitman. I'm a contract killer in that bitch. And now I got a worthy opponent. I'm gonna stop you from fucking leaving that cage or jumping over it. And then Dane, I just wanted to ask one for you. All along, you, you said that Conor McGregor doesn't believe this fight is gonna happen, that he believes he'll slide in. When was the last time you talked to him? And is that still his opinion? And is, I mean, is there a deadline that, that he would give you of when he would be willing to step in? Yeah, I have no idea. Let's, let's not even talk about that. How about that? Let's not even talk about this fight not happening. It's a horrible question. John Morgan. All of a sudden. Who has the next question? Oh, right here. Rodney James from Cape Side Press. Uh, first question is for Tony Ferguson. You know, first of all, when UFC 209 uh, failed to materialize, you came out here on this very stage, addressed this audience, and you had a lot of nice things to say about Khabib. You were very respectful. And I understand there's an element of selling the fight, but has it become personal at this point? Because you seem like you're, you're after him psychologically. He owes me money. 
He heard on a high schooler. One with Daniel Cormier not to lock his hands. And he did the homeless thing. That's three strikes. You're fucking out. So in other words, it, it has become personal and it, it, you're a little bit more vested in this than you were previously. No, it's another fight. I'm thinking that and everybody else is hyping it up. I'm pretty cool. Um, I really don't have to talk too much shit to Khabib. I really don't. The respect is there. The bullshit's there. I will bring in the pressure, from, you know what I mean? The fuel and the fire with the three strike thing. It's a California man. <laughs> it's three strike rule, dog. You have an impressive win streak, Tony Ferguson. If you win the Undisputed Championship, there's not a heck of a lot left for you to prove besides becoming a world champion, which obviously is a goal for, for every fighter. After that, how much longer do you think that you'll keep doing this, and what else do you want to accomplish? I don't know. Yoel's at 42 right now, which is kind of cool. I mean, really, you can compete until you whatever. Look at Connor. He's competing again. I mean, how much money can you make, but you miss it. I called it out. Connor's an athlete. Khabib's an athlete. We're going to do this until, I mean, really, the personal's on them. Family, friends, whatever, can always going to have their opinions, but it doesn't matter. Depends on how, you're, how much your mental toughness is out there competing and then what you're going to do with it. I have good support now. I, I have, I've always had UFC support. I might not like made decisions from my old previous management and everything else that happened, but instead of bitching about it, we're here today and we're going to make this fucking fight happen at UFC 249. And just one more for you and, and uh, one for Dana. You seem to be in really great spirits. I commend you for um, going headfirst into some you know, mental health issues and working through that. It takes a lot of courage as a professional athlete, especially a lot of people look up to you. Fuck you. I, I was giving you props. I was, I was just wondering. Fuck the advice. Next question. I wasn't giving you advice, sir. Sorry, okay. Uh, Mr. White. I just wanted to uh, circle back real quick to the last pay-per-view. Obviously, the Texas Commission has some issues. I wonder if there's been any updates as far as their efforts to sort of work on some of the issues that they've had, because we obviously want UFC in Texas as often as possible, and they have some stuff they need to work out down there. Uh, yeah, listen, it's not just Texas. It's, it's a lot of the commissions do. So, you know, yes. The answer is yes. We love Texas. Texas has been very good to the UFC, and we will continue to go to Texas, and... I know all these athletic commissions are working to get better and do a better job from judging to refing, et cetera. And we love you too. And I, I never ask you this at a press conference, but I know you're a huge fight fan. So many great fights tomorrow night. Which one are you super excited about? I, I, yeah, I, I hate to single any fights out on a great fight card, but I've been very, very um, uh, forward with, I'm, I'm real excited for Joanna Jacek versus Whaley Zhang. I, I can't wait for that fight. I'm so excited for that fight. Who has the next question? Down over here. Uh, first, uh, for, for Habib. Uh, Habib, I think uh, Floyd Mayweather said this week that it would take uh, $600 million to, to get him to, to fight you. Any, any thoughts on that? Yeah, for you, Habib. I'm sorry, I, I don't hear a question. Mayweather, what to say? Mayweather said it'll take $600 million to get him to fight you. Mm -hmm. uh, any thoughts on that? Six hundred million dollar for what? Fight with me? Fight you. Who gonna give him this money? Not me. Not me too. I don't think Dana gonna give him six hundred million dollar. And uh, if you wanna fight, we can make fight like this. Okay, eleven fight, eleven round MMA uh, box and one round MMA. If we make deal, let's go. We can fight. You know, you don't like have the we're, fucking we're conditioning already, for 11 rounds. You don't have the conditioning for 11 rounds. Doesn't hey, shut up. Opponent. I don't talk with you. I don't talk to you either, dirty no. Q-tip. Uh, uh, fucking we, fat. We already You're offered. about the same size as like Cormier right now, dude. Like, we have option, you know. We already offer. No bullshit. Why are you talking boxing? I'm right here. You're going to get out boxed out there. fight with him in the Middle East. Fuck that shit. We have offered, you, you know. You need to work. You need um, to focus on one motherfucker. Yeah. And I think it's going to be. I'm being big real, dog. Just wait till the phone call. You ain't gonna have one fucking word to say. And I think Mayweather, he is a very big name. He's a very big name, you know. And right now I have big name too, and we can fight, but but we need like really big name. Khabib. Eleven, ele eleven round the uh, box, one round MMA. Let's go. I'm ready. Thanks, Bib. Uh, for Tony, I just wanted to ask you. You're wearing gloves, uh, and I think you have a baseball with you. Any any reason for that? I told you I'm a fucking hit man. And 
And there's a baseball baseball there? Any any significance? Just in case they run. All right. And then just lastly for Dana, uh, South by Southwest, the, the music and arts festival got canceled today because of the coronavirus outbreak. Any concerns? Anything that you guys can do to try to... Hey, it's a legitimate question. It's a legitimate question. Corona's cool, but Montejo's better. Legitimate question. I mean, it's, it's got to be a little bit of a concern, right, for any big event. So when it, when it comes to the safety of the athletes and the fans and everything else, no matter where we go or what we do, we're always concerned with that. And we've been thinking about this for weeks. Dr. Davidson's been involved, and um, yeah. I mean, I don't know what else to say other than that. You, uh, you said on your, your... We're not canceling the event. Well, no, I'm not. I didn't, I didn't say that. I never said that. You said, you said on Instagram Live um, uh, about an hour ago that you guys are pinpointing Jones versus Reyes too. Um, is that the case? And you have I, a I, what I said was I'm interested in that fight. I right. think that's the fight that should happen. Jones, Reyes too should happen. Um, but we haven't done anything to make that fight. There's been nothing done. So no like timetable or anything no, no. Like that for that? And uh, you also said that Paulo Costa is definitely next for the Adesanya Romero win. As long as he's healthy, he's next. And, and has he given any indication when he could be back? He wanted, to, he wanted to come back now. He's not a doctor. When the doctor tells us he's ready, then we'll do it. Thank you, guys. Habib, good to see you. Outside of this matchup, this title match with Tony Ferguson, Al Kakui, in a perfect world, is GSP George St. Pierre the best quality opponent you can face in your storied book career? I can, why not? I can, but all question like Dana, UFC, all these people because I never choose my opponents or fights. I'm the champion and I, I have to defend my title. Right now, is, uh, contender is Tony Ferguson. After we can talk about this, why not? I'm a natural 170 pounder. I knocked out everybody at Ultimate Fighter at 170. GSP was the shit. He uh, changed the game with his supplement nutrition, uh, doing it the right way. He was the guy at my weight class that uh, I was gunning for, man. That's the real one, man. I'll get to you right now then, Al Kakui. Everyone's been talking about Conor McGregor being next for Habib. Conor McGregor, the replacement fighter. Putting all this disrespect on the Al Kakui name. How does it make you feel that they're all talking about him as the next opponent? Disrespecting you, not beating this guy. I haven't heard shit. I'm too busy, man. My academy's been built with my bare hands. I just had a couple things, uh, an atom dummy. Now, if you guys know what an atom dummy is, they're in every single college around like this United States. I'm gonna go out there and I'm gonna outwork this guy. I'm gonna outpoint him. I'm gonna outhustle him. He's afraid of cats out there, like that going ankle pick area. He got ankle picked by a fucking 12 year old. Hey, bro, I'm a, look at me. Look at me, dude. Respect, and I got you. Okay. All right, last question. Habib, just want to set the record straight. Who won the race between your manager, Ali, up the hill? Who's faster? Who won the race? This guy's so fast, but you know, like, he can beat a lot of UFC fighters. You know, this is my opinion. You know, he can you beat said a lot it right. Of it was fighters. a hill, not a mountain. I climbed Big Bear Mountain with a 45 pound pack. When are you going up to Big Bear? When's it happening? I already went. Huh? I can't hear you. Go ahead. First question is for Habib. Habib, as the fight was being promoted with Connor a few years ago, it became more and more personal. It seemed like you wanted to prove a point and really smash him in that fight. Do you feel now that Tony is being more assertive, that this is getting more personal, that you want to prove a similar point to Tony? You ask me how I improve myself or... When the fight got more personal against Conor, you really wanted to prove a point and smash him. Now it seems like the fight with Tony is getting more and more personal. So are you going to have the same chip on your shoulder entering this fight? Yeah, you know, like when you go to the cage, you cannot take too serious, too, like, personal your opponents. Because you have to relax, you have to focus, you have to uh, follow your game plan, you know. It's like when I go to the cage, you know, I enjoy with my opponents, you know. I enjoy when I make them tired, when I make them tough, you know. Like, uh, with Tony, it's going to be more tough than uh, with uh, my other opponents. 
but who knows who knows we'll see april 18 april 18 is gonna be very big night for lightweight division history you know and who win this fight is gonna be this guy gonna be greatest lightweight ever and i believe myself i believe my skills you know and uh, only one thing make me make me sad like this guy become a little bit old only this one you know he is 36 37 years old when i beat him people gonna talk about like oh he's old now. when i start having 21 year olds outrun me outwork me and all this other good stuff then we can talk until then you're getting ankle like, by a 12 year old like even even 36 years old is not good for lighter division you know it's this, fucking who dude this is not like heavy watch when you get your ass by an old no. man i just got old no, we'll, we will see we will see but but the, 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 this champ shit only, motherfucker. I can't understand this son of a bitch. Big excuse. I'm gonna fucking map. I'm gonna mop the map with your fucking hat. You can't wait. I'm gonna use fans. all this for training. Big I'm gonna excuse. go in there so soon. I know. Oh, it's gonna be fucking. When I smash him, when I make him flat, when I make him shut your mouth with my people are gonna talk about his. I'm gonna own. hit you so hard in your stomach, you're gonna piss fucking blood, kid. <laughs> Stupid guy. Tony, you guys are finally going to fight for the first time, but a few years ago you were here and you made weight for UFC 209. At what point in your mind do you feel like you've actually already beaten Khabib and this is really just the second fight? <laughs> oh, man. When he didn't show up the next day, when we have Ali Abdelaziz claiming to be the best manager and we just reviewed over at the rule meeting and all this other shit that you have to do it the right fucking way, Dog, you got a phone call from watching somebody watching me practice. Hey, and I know who it was. Hey, talk with me. Don't talk about my manager, my brother. I'm here. I don't talk in shit about your brother. All I'm just saying, he's a piece of shit. For both of you guys, Jim Greasehopper, cage side seat. Belts aside, money aside, all that aside, you guys are widely considered to be the two best guys in your weight class for years now with all the fights you've missed. But you would fight in your front yard, you would fight in the mountains, you would fight in the middle of the street against each other. Well, How important have. is it just to win this fight, just to beat one another for each of you, for each of you to say that you beat the other guy who's considered to be by so many people the best in the world, everything else aside but that? This kid's a bully. He's never been in a street fight, never actually been thrown into a trash can or like any kind of shit like that. So now you're street fucking, fight, you're fucking, you're fucking with somebody that hey, you don't want to. Hey, I don't have to bring this sunglasses. Up. In I'm street, street fight, fight I can eat you. You understand? No, Who are you? Yeah. You never fight in. You American guy. In American, you cannot fight in street. There we go. Here I am is, from right? Rio Mountain. I can eat you in street. Here we fight. go. What are you talking? All about? you Americans, right? That are uh, cheering for this hey, little bitch. I don't care. All Americans, they know. I love you. They know where I'm from. I can eat you in street fight. What are you talking about? When you fight in street, tell me when you fight in street. When you find this, tell me. Okay, for example. I'm from fucking Oxnard, bitch. Okay, what? What is this? What is this, Oxford? And Muskegon, Michigan. Hey, Tony, look at me. Look at when you fight last time. When you fight last time in the street, tell the people true. Tell last the time people I fell true. In the street, oh, huh? Man, it was a one punch fucking knockout. What? When you fight in street, we talk hey, about. Pops always fight. told me you had hey, to be really fucking quick in street street overseas. Fight. You think this is cage fight in street? You think this is cage fight? I'm gonna throw you in the fucking cage. I'm gonna broke you in street Watch. fight. You You're understand? Have fucking what are you talking about? Face. Who's got the next question? I'm gonna take two more. Go ahead. Yeah, just uh, pretty simple for both you guys. This was supposed to happen, this fight, for the first time in 2015. Fifth time it's been scheduled. How has the preparation, the strategy change coming into this fight? Tony first. Nothing. I'm not worried about what he's doing. I already did my homework. I already got my Joe's notes. I got rounds one through three in every single Liar. 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 One you worry three. about and me. One through two, you I don't worry about me. Hey. One through two rounds. Be honest with fans. His fucking be 18 honest. fights that he had before the UFC okay. were only two rounds. No, no, what no. The no, fuck? no. In professional listen. sports, hey. right? They in ask professional about sports. You have to have three rounds in order to be declared a pro fucking sport. Now, I don't know what they do back at home, but over here, we fucking do it the right way. You liar. Honestly, you lie. You don't worry about my skill? You're getting mad, Khabib. Of course I'm mad because you liar. You lie. Ooh. I worry always about my opponents. Ooh. You know, when I fight with Barboza, I worry about Ooh. knee, about his leg. Fucked. When I fight with Conor, I worry about head. his left hand. When I fight with 
I'm That's ready in your head. Hey, everybody, raise your hand if you think I'm in his head already. No, no, no. You liar. You liar. You little liar. You know. Tell the truth. Motherfucker, people. truth is hey, you can tell get the your fucking people. ass kicked. Why? Well, now you mad? Now you mad? Oh, come on, okay. dude. I'll put my sombrero no, versus no. your filthy tell hat. Tell the people Let's truth. Go, motherfucker. You worry you about have me. no idea, man. You're learning from a fucking Mexican. You I'm from Mexico. Your ass. You not real Mexican. Hey, you fake Mexican. What are you talking about? First you say you're American, now you talk about you're Mexican? Fake. Where are you from? Where are you from? Dog. Where are you from? My great grandparents are from You're Sinatra, not real Mexican. You right here? Mexican. I'm from Chica Oxnard, motherfucker. No, 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 brother. You, you California guy. You're not Mexican guy. This know, is bro. too different. Shut up. Dog, Dagestani, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take it. I'm not gonna hold you back. I'll I love take your one culture. More I love your country. I am from but Dagestan. I'm gonna tell you something, motherfucker. Hey. You're saying that your guys are I am better the than real me my shit? Fuck you, Khabib. No, no, I am the real mountain. But you, what, fake my, Mexican. Uh, real fake Mexican. You, Tony. We'll, we'll, we'll fucking you, see Tony. Yeah, you, Tony. Yeah, si no eh. no te de de you, Ferguson. Way. You, Ferguson. No, bro. You, not Mendes you or something lucky. like this. Tienes you, Ferguson. Suerte. Now you talk about your, you, Mexican? Tienes what are you suerte. talking about? Tienes suerte. Who's, shit, guy. Tienes suerte. Who's got the next question? You, fake. The last one right Tienes here. Suerte, mio. Go oh, ahead. Come on, mijo. MMA Power Hour. Habib, we know who your least favorite opponent in history is. Is this the number two least favorite for you? Sorry, I don't listen. No problem. We know He's the, pissed! We know the opponent. Woo! Motherfucker! Uh, We're in his head. Second most. Good luck training camp. I'm already midway through. I started in December. No, no, no. I don't no 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 no. Listen, listen, listen. Listen, people. You know, like fighter, I respect him. But like human being, I know understand this guy. He a little bit stupid without his mind, you know? He a little bit stupid guy, honestly. Like like I know understand him. Like fighter, I respect him. Like person, I don't know him. Right now he should the only motherfucker that gets on No, he skin, talking dog. about he Mexican. He's not Mexican. You're gonna have to you answer know? to me. I am from Dagestan, <laughs> Russia, you know. You're gonna I'm have to Dagestan. answer to me. I'm not gonna, gonna have anybody Amanda. in there. You know, you ain't shit without your homeboys, motherfucker. This is crazy, guy. I, I told you it's a little bit stupid. Does it bother stupid, you? right? He's one on one. Saying uh, these things to you, Habib. What one on one? What? What one on one? Hey, what you, you gonna know what? You try to fucking corner uh, any of my what you family gonna do again? I'm gonna you try to order. You fucking know. You and your team try to corner my fucking guy. family again? For Habib. Habib, do you think he's trying to say these things to upset you? No, no. No, never. You know, like nobody can come. There's repercussions. My mind. You know, nobody. No, but this is unreal, you know. Of course, he make me mad right now because he lie. You know, he lie. He's not Mexican. Guy. You owe me two hundred k, bitch. Guy. Shut up. He's fake Mexican. This one is true. You know, say true. Yeah. For Tony. I'm American and I'm fucking Mexican and I'm proud. Tony. And I'm brown. Now it's good. Now oh, it's good. Motherfucker, I don't go tan. Tell the people true. You're American and you're proud, but don't talk about Mexico. Tony, don't, don't, don't question for you. Mexico. Hey, don't be fucking training over here then, dog. Get the fuck out. <laughs> hey, don't talk about Mexico. Sir, thank you. I, I thank know. you guys a lot. I'm going to these I guys know, off and get this people. going here.